Yes, welcome back to YN the Morning Special. Thanks uh, to Kalam Ival and Masai Kita for that amazing feature, uh, Tribal. I go by the name of Bai Moses or it's by Mon every social media platform and it's always a pleasure. Today is Entrepreneurship Tuesday and our first entrepreneur of the day is a queen. She's a graduate uh, from the University of uh, uh, Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology and she specializes in information technology. But right about now, she's a blogger, she's a head rap specialist and she's passionate about women empowerment and mental health please all right and mental <laughs> health all right uh, yeah. your camera is number four if i missed anything i've mm. already credentials on as i share another one in the morning jewels okay uh -huh. okay so where do i start from uh you can start with the name all over again okay so uh -huh. my name is mary wairimo mm -hmm. i'm well known as Oirimo Raps on IG and mm -hmm. my Facebook page. Mm -hmm. um, I've been a blogger for a year now, a year and a few months. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been doing mostly head wraps mm -hmm. and writing very deep captions. I'm all about the positive life. You You're know? all about the positive life. <laughs> yeah. I was talking to you on Instagram and there are so many quotes. Uh -huh. One stood out for me. Which one? All right. Uh, they say time... Uh, Mm. Time solves everything. Time mm. changes everything. Mm -hmm. uh, but you contradict that and say mm. it's you who is going to change the things. But it's true. How true is that? Okay, then. Things cannot be the same tomorrow <laughs> as they are today, even if I sleep from let's now till tomorrow. Let's dive into the mental health bit. Because mm -hmm. when I started sharing on Mental Health Mondays, which uh -huh. is a feature that started early January, like December, mm -hmm. they're about. Um, it was all about depression for me because I've suffered from depression. Mm -hmm. And um, How long was it? I was diagnosed in November 2015. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so the, the journey to recovery is actually what makes me relate to that quote so much. Because mm -hmm. I stayed in denial for about one and a half years. Mm -hmm. And then in 2017 is when I actually decided to take my power back. Because, mm -hmm. you know, depression is all about making you feel powerless, mm -hmm. making you feel like you're worthless. Mm -hmm. Well, I had no will to live and I was actually dying from that, mm -hmm. not any other thing. Mm -hmm. So when I decided that it's time for me to take back my life, mm -hmm. take back my, you know, take back my power, mm -hmm. take back who I am, mm -hmm. I had to work towards making that happen. The solution is within, that's all you're saying? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. And you have to put in the work. You don't uh -huh. just sleep, cry, and then you hope that God will come through for you. <laughs> all right. When it comes to mental health, people mm. don't understand. Uh, is it that some people are prone to it a little bit more mm -hmm. and some people uh, are safe from it? Like just other diseases. Some people are immune to malaria. Some mm -hmm. people uh, can get mosquito bite more than a malaria. malaria. Is mm -hmm. it the same for mental health? I don't think so. Uh -huh. I think a anybody's prone to it. Yeah, anybody's prone to it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes even the people that you think are from, you know, good families, mm -hmm. they have good support, mm -hmm. they have things going for them, mm -hmm. they have issues as well. Mm -hmm. Everybody but has issues. Everybody has issues. You know, mm -hmm. mental health specifically deals with people who, who are unable to cope with the everyday stresses of life. Mm -hmm. You know, every day, like, you have to wake up early. I come from Rongai, so I have to get stuck in traffic. Mm -hmm. You have to, I have like work to, to do, I mm -hmm. have to meet deadlines, I have to be up for meetings, you mm -hmm. know, the daily stresses of life. If you can't cope with them, mm -hmm. then you have a mental health issue. If you can't cope with them, then yeah, yeah, what if you can't reply to all your emails <laughs> and your texts? No, it's all about prioritizing <laughs> when it comes to that. All right, all right, yeah. I get your point. But uh, how? Mm -hmm. so uh, when it comes to mental health again, mm -hmm. uh, the certain mm -hmm. parameters that you use, to mm. understand if somebody is suffering or not. What are these, what are some of these parameters? Well, first of all, you, you'd have to check on issues such as, you know, overindulgence. Are you overindulging on TED Talks? Uh -huh. uh, are you getting high on, you know, all the various drugs uh -huh. beyond limits? You know, there's this thing called moderation that people don't want to practice. Mm -hmm. Are you keeping a social life? And mm -hmm. I don't mean that you're out 24-7 or you're interacting mm -hmm. with people 24-7, but are you making an effort to, to at least meet people? Are mm -hmm. you... Uh, isolated, uh, you know, mm -hmm. you ha people who are suffering from issues mm -hmm. and they might not even realize it. Mm -hmm. Most of them are usually in seclusion. Mm -hmm. They push everyone away. Mm -hmm. They overindulge. Mm -hmm. Like I know people who are, who have overindulged on antidepressants mm -hmm. because w once they went to hospital, they were told that they, you have issues. Mm -hmm. You know, this insomnia, this not eating properly, not resting, mm -hmm. means that there could be something. So let me prescribe this for you, mm -hmm. you know, an antidepressant. Doctors are very good at prescribing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> and they don't realize. Especially the physicians. Yes. Uh -huh. 
So when it comes to mental health, you're advised to see a professional or a psychiatrist? Yes, yes, yes. Right. You have to. Because physicians are always going to Yeah, uh, they to want to just them. write those things down and move on to the next patient because I think most of them are all about the money and mm -hmm. not actually helping. Most of them. Let's say most of them. Mm -hmm. Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 <laughs> underscore channel on Instagram, mm -hmm. and Y254 on Facebook. Don't forget to tell us where you're watching us from. The topic of conversation is mental health. We have Mary Wairimo in studio with us and uh, graduate from the university, uh, oh. uh, Jaycourt. Mm -hmm. All right, is it still a... Uh, a boys' school, like they used to <laughs> say. Well, I uh -huh. was in Jaycourt Karen, uh -huh. so I can't actually so relate to Juja. <laughs> in uptown, it's different. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> definitely right. different. All right. So uh, you say um, seclusion is one thing you can notice from mm -hmm. somebody who's depressed, mm -hmm. of indulgence, mm -hmm. uh, and not being able to do what is required of you. Yeah. Those are some of the key factors that you can get to know. Yeah, and in my case... Uh -huh. I had lost my will to live, so I was going into hypotension, you know. Mm -hmm. My body was shutting down. All right, there are levels to it as well. Yeah. So uh, what are some of these levels? Um, I think the first one is where you start by withdrawing, you mm -hmm. know, like that social dude mm -hmm. in, your, in your squad. Mm -hmm. Just start going quiet. Mm -hmm. Or someone who is usually quiet and reserved becomes more quiet and mm -hmm. more reserved. Then you get to the point where there's hopelessness. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you feel like everything is ganging up against you. Everything mm -hmm. is conspiring to bring you down. Mm -hmm. Then now there's that point of no return mm -hmm. where, but there's, re there's, a <laughs> there's help mm -hmm. which can help you come back. Mm -hmm. But when you get to the point of no return, you'll be like me, where you just want to die because you think that there's solace on the other end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. What about... Uh, always thinking that grass is greener on the other side, is it? Oh also another problem yes it is because you know you'll not be living in the now you'll not be present mm -hmm. you'll be living in the if i get to you know if i get to university mm -hmm. then it means i'll get a job so let me work hard and get my first class mm -hmm. honors so that i get that job if mm -hmm. i get a job i'll be able to buy a car which will make me happy mm -hmm. if i buy a car i'll be able to go to so um, the problem is also uh, f finding fake sources of happiness yes if there's one thing I appreciate mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. that happiness is an inside job. Wonderful. Yes. Wise words <laughs> from everywhere. <laughs> <All> right. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. So, like, you have to find it within you. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, external things cannot cause you to be happy at all. And all I appreciate right. so much, you know, this, this animation called Inside Out. Inside Out. Yeah. We can find it on YouTube. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's good for somebody who's, uh, who's diagnosed with depression. Yeah, it's good. Cause what is the name of the animation again? Inside out. Inside out. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, because like the, the the main the main thing or let me say main character mm -hmm. is called sadness, who is blue, mm -hmm. and you and at the end of the movie you get to realize that sadness is not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. It just makes you human. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't be happy twenty four seven. Mm -hmm. By the way, I'm not trying to claim that mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't be happy twenty four seven, mm -hmm. but there has to be you know a variety of feelings. Mm -hmm. You could be happy at this time and then sad, but not too sad again because you know if you're in a depressive state highs and lows are so they're so extreme all right yeah. so when somebody is suffering from depression mm -hmm. and people at least get some symptoms and signs mm -hmm. it's very easy to seclude the person yes it is because everybody's uh, is having their own problems oh, yeah. and uh people feel like uh, having that person around is going to add into your own problems. What would you tell people who know other people who are living with depression? I'd tell How do you approach this? Because life is as stressful as it is already. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think, or I believe, mm -hmm. that you can spare two, three minutes to just write a lovely message to your friend. Mm -hmm. For instance, I have my girls who text me. You know, like last night I told one of them that I'm so excited and nervous to be on TV for the first time. Mm -hmm. And she was like, come on, woman, you know, you're a powerhouse. So mm -hmm. I'm sharing you on The people look up to you yeah. already. Uh, not, not just that. Uh -huh. The main thing is support, you know, get, getting that moral support. Because mm -hmm. once, like in my case, once you've suffered from depression and then you've gotten to a point where you're actually doing content creation, mm -hmm. it means that you're exposing yourself to the world, mm -hmm. you know. And that makes you vulnerable in a deeper sense because mm -hmm. you don't know what if I post this thing and then I get bashed online. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it makes you a bit, let's say, cautious. 
-hmm. and not weak. Vulnerability is not a bad thing, but mm -hmm. to some extent, it's not so Too easy. much of anything is dangerous. Yeah. Let's talk about social media now. Mm -hmm. And social media, we're living in the age of uh, information. Everything mm -hmm. is posted online. People mm -hmm. are addicted to likes and comments. Mm -hmm. People are addicted to views. People are chasing this high. Mm -hmm. uh, every time people are on their phones. Do you think it's contributing or it's forming uh, some new age uh, form of depression? Some new... Yes, some it new is. <laughs> right. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. well, I think a, a few weeks ago I read about this chick who committed suicide because mm -hmm. she, she got unfollowed by a celebrity. Yeah. Wow. Yes. That's shallow. And another one started cutting herself, you know, which is also a kind of coping meca mechanism. Mm -hmm. So she started cutting herself according to the number of likes and dislikes and, you know, according to the engagement on a social media. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which I think looks a bit or feels a bit desperate because mm -hmm. you know you don't get outside validation if you're not confident if you you know that 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 chest of likes comments and engagement sometimes could come from a point of looking for validation from strangers online mm -hmm. you know yeah. and that that is a very big problem and the chinese said that it, they said that um the social social media has become a kind of heroine an electronic heroine so mm -hmm. To get high mm -hmm. on your 15 seconds of fame, you want many likes, mm -hmm. many comments, many views. So many it's a shows. drug. Yes, it's a drug. And some people are turning it to a coping mechanism as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. People are finding happiness in this, which is very dangerous. What do you think is the solution for this? The solution for that is, first of all, self-awareness. Mm -hmm. you no, know, I have another segment mm -hmm. <laughs> on personal So Monday growth. we have the <laughs> motivation on Monday? No, Monday is mm -hmm. Mental Health Monday. Mental Health Monday? Yeah, and then on Wednesdays, mostly I do personal growth. Uh, personal growth. Yeah, yeah, because I realized that it got to a point where I needed to know who I am, mm -hmm. what am I about, mm -hmm. what do I do, what do I like. And how do you get to that self-realization? How do you go to the forest and meditate? <laughs> do you Come read on. books? What do you do to get to that point of self-realization? Because okay. it's very easy to get confused. Mm -hmm. Your friends like this, mm -hmm. your parents want this, mm -hmm. uh, your girlfriend wants this, your mm -hmm. boyfriend wants this. Mm -hmm. So it's very hard for you to realize yourself. How do you get to that point? First of all, just note I'm a reader, a very ardent one. Mm -hmm. So reading is one thing. Yeah, and I'm mm -hmm. infinitely curious. Mm -hmm. and of Being course, curious is another thing. Yeah, it's another uh -huh. thing, and it's a skill that's lacking in most of the millennials, uh -huh. which sucks to some point. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been working with a training company, so mm -hmm. I've sat in on many trainings, mm -hmm. and I had a coach who is a life coach mm -hmm. and was a colleague then. Mm -hmm. So, you know, through, through our trainings, because I was her understudy through our trainings, through the, the various sessions I took part in, mm -hmm. I was able to realize that self-awareness is actually a very valuable thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I started getting curious, who am I? Mm -hmm. What do I stand for? What are my core values? Mm -hmm. What makes me me? Mm -hmm. What is it that's unique about me? What is it that I love about myself? Mm -hmm. It's a journey. I didn't get all these answers in a week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, it's a journey. Yeah, it's all a right. journey. In uh, Nelson Mandela's book, mm -hmm. uh, I like how he, when you think he's going to talk so bad about being locked up for mm -hmm. 27 years, I think, mm -hmm. he looks at the jail cell mm -hmm. as a very, in a very different light, in a very different perspective, as mm -hmm. somewhere you can go somewhere you don't get a chance to interact with the outside world, so you get a chance to interact with yourself mm -hmm. and realize yourself. Mm -hmm. Do you think your approach to life is also very important when it comes to things like these? Yes, it is. Uh -huh. Because as long as you don't know what you stand for, you'll be like a flag, uh -huh. such that your mother influences you. Uh -huh. no? Your sister claims... Don't forget we're Africans. <laughs> your mom is bound <laughs> to influence you. Yeah, but uh -huh. you have to have your own stand, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah, because there are things that my mama tells me. I know she's watching. <laughs> <laughs> but you say, no, this cannot work in 2019. Yeah, and I'm like, mama, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. I love you, but no. Uh -huh. Yeah, there are things that my sister could tell me. Uh -huh. And I would tell her, no, okay, I'm a firstborn. Uh -huh. But you know, nowadays we are all opinionated. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I could tell her strongly, no, I'll uh -huh. not do this. All right. Yeah. Before we get to what you're getting from this, helping people and this process, mm -hmm. I'd like uh, you to give us some of the steps mm -hmm. of uh, just getting out of this uh, depression. If you can't afford a psychiatrist, what are some of the activities you can do uh, from physical activities to just mental activities that you can en en engage in if you feel like you're, you're prone to depression? Okay. Mm -hmm. What I found most helpful mm -hmm. is number one, 
um engaging in exercise mm-hmm. exercise is very important cardio uh-huh. cardio helps with blood flow so uh-huh. uh, it will it in a way it also helps you to have you know enough circulation to your brain mm-hmm. you start getting more creative mm-hmm. higher number two you have to get a hobby mm-hmm. and i don't mean these crazy hobbies that you go chugging drinks <laughs> <laughs> binge drink <laughs> <laughs> no you All don't right. do that uh-huh. like i started crocheting in when was it in june when was it june 2015 mm-hmm. but then got lost interest because i didn't know like mm-hmm. how important it would be mm-hmm. but i i realized since my recovery mm-hmm. that crocheting was actually good because you know the more the more you go line by line mm-hmm. there's a lot of repetition like i could count one to nine and then you mm-hmm. add three one to nine add three mm-hmm. so it's meditative well, it's meditative in yeah. a way even it's yoga there's a lot of counting in yeah. yoga and meditating as well yeah. right. oh, i also appreciate yoga mm-hmm. so much mm-hmm. And especially learning how to actually do guided meditation. Because mm-hmm. you know you have to deal with yourself all your life. Mm-hmm. So if you can't You're stand all it, you got. I know, right? Mm. Like Uncle Snoop said. I want to thank <laughs> Uncle me. Uncle Snoop. <laughs> thank you for quoting Uncle Snoop. <laughs> we are bringing you back to Hip Hop Thursday, <laughs> by the way. Yeah, anyway, yeah. So uh, you're all you got. Yeah. So uh, crocheting uh, really helped you through a process. Yes. So getting did. a hobby is very important. Mm-hmm. Uh, also meditating and physical exercise and mm-hmm. yoga. Mm-hmm. And the best part is that mm-hmm. all these things are available on YouTube. Like yes, you can learn them on YouTube. Yeah, like and all you need is uh, put aside some time mm-hmm. for participating in these things, and you'll see that growth in you, in yourself. Yeah. For How do you uh, come from IT mm-hmm. training uh-huh. to helping people with mental health and writing about it? Yeah, I was waiting for that one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's here now. <laughs> Let's deal with it. <laughs> so, I've always been a woman of many passions, uh-huh. and I think. I just love helping because over the years, you know, over the years when I was suffering mm-hmm. through different issues, I don't, I don't know whether I should get into them. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, but over it's the years. It's not necessary, but at least we understand you've gone through it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When uh-huh. I was going through issues, I had people to walk with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like there's a time I had serious study issues mm-hmm. and a friend's dad gave his time mm-hmm. for me to just air whatever was going on. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, after like a three hour session, he's like, you know what, on behalf of all good fathers I would like to apologize because of one two. he mentioned the things I was talking about mm-hmm. yeah and that one gave me freedom to know that I mean these things are real and they just happen but mm-hmm. I'm light at heart now I can move on mm-hmm. yeah so when my mom was not in my life for some time mm-hmm. I had a mother who stood in for her mm-hmm. my best friend's mom mm-hmm. <laughs> You know, when I when I stood the loss of my grandma mm-hmm. at age was it at age nineteen, mm-hmm. I had friends working with me. So mm-hmm. I would like to give back. You know, once you heal, mm-hmm. of which you know you have to work on daily. Mm-hmm. Once you heal, mm-hmm. you wonder what next, because you know, Kimatisa University, you uh, you ask yourself what next, and then your parent tells you you have to get a job. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so you good. have to do this and this course yeah, first so, yeah, before so we can talk. Yeah, so mm-hmm. once you heal, mm-hmm. you have to pass on that gift to others. Uh-huh. So you help others heal. Uh-huh. You help others realize, Kumbi have been suffering from this thing. All right. You help others, like I've helped others realize that depression doesn't actually have a face. Mm-hmm. I could be wrapped pretty, mm-hmm. dressed so nice, very petite and curvy, mm-hmm. but depression does not respect anyone. Naibagui. Yeah, haibagui. Mchanga, mze. Yes. Even kids be going through this thing. Mm-hmm. Wow, so your journey to recovery is what inspired you to get into this. Yeah, Are you, you still practicing IT? Yes, uh-huh. but in terms of social media management. In, ter- in terms of social media management yeah. and your blogging. Yes. All right, uh, you're very passionate about head wraps. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this? <laughs> so when I was discovering myself, uh-huh. I kept thinking there's a legacy that l- I'd like to carry on. Because I grew up with my grandma and my auntie. And I never once saw her hair, like, until that point when it was early Sunday mornings mm-hmm. when she's getting ready for church. So mm-hmm. if you're going to the shamba, if you're going to the shop, if you're going, you know, if you're going for any social occasions, she used to have her head wrapped all mm-hmm. the time. And I was like, you know, of all legacies, I'd like to take her courage, her confidence, mm-hmm. and her head wraps. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so here I am carrying on a legacy. <laughs> all right, so this is a legacy that you are carrying on. Yeah. All right, on your Instagram, I see them a lot. If we can project the Instagram page on screen, I've seen the head wraps a lot. Is it a business that you're running as well? Currently not, mm-hmm. though I do make... Oh. 
<laughs> so I, I, I do a few tutorials uh -huh. every now and then. Uh -huh. I write very deep quotes. Uh -huh. I explain processes. Uh -huh. But maybe in future I'll even drop a line of my uh -huh. own scarves. Uh -huh. Yeah, because I feel that everyone should have, you know, have that identifying factor. All right. Yeah. So you don't uh, advocate for head wrapping, like everybody has to wrap their heads. It's just no, that's a personal choice. That's a personal thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. But then I'm so humble that workplaces in Kenya allow you, even though you're a Christian, to wrap your head. Because, you know, sometimes there'll be issues. Because, mm -hmm. you know, people believe that, no, as long as you're not a Muslim, you should not be covering your head. Mm -hmm. But then there's that provision. I, when, I, when I went to get my passport, I was mm -hmm. asked, do you wrap for it just reasons? All right, let's go back to the Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a very beautiful quote mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. uh, be the reason someone smiles today. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's not advice that you be selfish also when it comes to these things. That's what I've been advocating for. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not advice that you be selfish. Yeah, don't be the reason somebody smiles. Yeah. When you make somebody smile, the energy bounces back to you. Wonderful. I'd like to get some of the quotes. I'm really getting inspired today. We can pose that. My pose best it. Come, is come, 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 come. Uh, back, back, back down, <laughs> back down. <laughs> My best is just uh, go. Just go back, back down, back down, back down, back down, back down. This one yeah. with the Basquiat yeah. symbol. Yes. All right. So we. We wear crowns over here, boo. Like all, right. <laughs> all women, we wear crowns. Tag so this your is friend. your crown right here. Yeah, this is my crown. Uh -huh. This ready. is your physical crown, but there's still a figurative crown. Yeah, there's a figurative one. Uh -huh. Like, I hold you in dignity, I uphold you, you know, with respect. Mm -hmm. And I honor you for giving me your time for coming onto my platform. Wow, <laughs> wonderful. The quotes are so many. Uh, all right, mm -hmm. uh, there's another one. Don't be satisfied with stories, mm -hmm. how things have gone with others. Mm -hmm. Unfold your own myth. Yes, mm -hmm. this is actually one of those things that I hold close to my heart. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I grew up in a house where you're told you have to dress this way, you mm -hmm. have to behave this way. It does mm -hmm. not matter what you feel. Mm -hmm. But once I decided to unravel those mm -hmm. myths, mm -hmm. I found so much freedom, so much of it. All right. Mm -hmm. Another thing I noticed from your Instagram is that there are so many selfies. Yeah. Self-love. Not just self-love. Mm -hmm. I feel like if I put up so many edited pictures, mm -hmm. I start feeling fake. I always do a mental checkpoint. So, mm. so I've done this number of posts this month. Mm -hmm. How many of them feel like me? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this feels good. This feels this feels this feels good. If I have an issue with one, mm -hmm. I'll have to go and edit even the caption. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I I want to repeat to represent myself in the humanliest <laughs> way, way possible. possible. <laughs> yes, humanly. In the best way you feel. Yeah. Wonderful. That is power right there. Mm -hmm. Somebody who has lived through all this. So this is that segment mm -hmm. of the interview where we talk about what's trending mm -hmm. in the world right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have two topics for you. Mm -hmm. uh, one mm -hmm. is about uh, the sanitary pads mm -hmm. that were trending mm -hmm. online. Did you see the story? Oh, yeah. They were nasty. Yeah, that we are getting uh, uh, lesser quality than the people in Europe. Somebody went mm -hmm. to Europe and just tried the ones in Europe, and when she came back, mm -hmm. the feeling was not the same, the experience was not the same. What mm -hmm. do you think about this particular topic? You know, I keep thinking about this. Most companies mm -hmm. have made Africa a dumping place. Mm -hmm. And it's so easy for us to get substandard quality, mm -hmm. because sometimes we find speaking up a bit hard. Mm -hmm. So once anyone, any, pro any product is challenged, mm -hmm. I realize that these companies normally, you know, make Dump. better quality uh -huh. after we complain, not uh -huh. before. Yeah, so... So it's upon us to no, stand up for our rights. It's not just upon us. Uh -huh. <coughs> Excuse me. We deserve quality products. Uh -huh. You know, we deserve things that make us feel good. Because I don't think I'd use a part that makes me feel, you uh -huh. know, that leaves me, leaves my skin feeling all dry and crusty uh -huh. and, you know, that's nasty. Uh -huh. Yeah, so... I don't know. I think we deserve we better. We need to stand up as Africans yes, to get the quality that we, we deserve. Do, yeah, we deserve All right. better. Another story. Mm -hmm. Pastor Nganga has been trending online uh -huh. uh, with uh, the, 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 the journalist mm -hmm. that, the, that he had a wrangle with. The journalist uh, uh, said that uh, pastors need qualification, at least a degree to start a church. I and Pastor Nganga was all about, this is all about a calling from God. Ugh, we don't please. need degrees. What do you think of I can tell from I your face. I don't my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you have an opinion on this, so just share it with yeah. the people. 
first of all, mm -hmm. I feel that callings are, over, are overrated. Uh -huh. I'm a Christian, mm -hmm. by the way, uh -huh. but still, you know, I could be called to, like, to help other people heal, like uh -huh. what I've been doing. Uh -huh. But if I don't use the right means, mm -hmm. if I use means that make me sound or come out as vain, mm -hmm. or make someone or if feel, you're in it for profit, yeah, if if I make someone else feel small so that I can rise above them, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's not the right way. That is not the right way. Pastors in Kenya have been, you know, they've been doing very very terrible things. Some <laughs> of them, let's stick yeah, to. Yeah, some of them, mm -hmm. they've been doing terrible things in the name of God. You know, men of the cloth don't have a good name. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I know for sure. Uh -huh. But if you have a qualification, and then, okay, let's say you have that calling, uh -huh. and then you have the qualification, that's an added advantage. Because uh -huh. you realize that... You have an understanding of the word, mm -hmm. and you also have the calling to yeah. back it up. Because surely, I'm sure at you have an inspiration, you read the verse and you're like, this is for me. Yes. This is for this me. This is for me. And yeah. you preach it to your friends, uh -huh. but that, does that make you a pastor? Not really. It doesn't. Uh -huh. It yes. takes a journey, it takes steps, it takes the calling, it takes the understanding to be a pastor. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for sharing your opinion with the people. Mm -hmm. As we come to the end of this, you've been nominated for the Cortex Award. Oh, yeah. How like. did it feel like <laughs> when you got nominated? And which category is this? Um, I was nominated as a blogger mm -hmm. who advocates for mental health and mm -hmm. personal growth. See, that has got nothing to do with my raps. Uh -huh. <laughs> I get it, I get it. <laughs> so... I felt very humbled. I mm -hmm. remember when I got the DM from Cortex Kenya, mm -hmm. I read it and I was like, uh, is this thing real or am I dreaming? Mm -hmm. And then I just stayed in denial for about two hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I replied to them and mm -hmm. told them I'd be very humbled and mm -hmm. honored to be a part of your nominees. Mm -hmm. So over the last few days, I've been in that dreamy state because mm -hmm. it's, it still feels surreal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you're going to win. How can we get to vote for you? <laughs> So sadly, voting closed yesterday at 11.59. Right. When are they announcing the winners? <laughs> Today. Today. So yes. by the end of the day, we'll know if you're, if you're a winner. Yes. All yes, right. Me. We hope uh, for the best uh, yes. for you. All the best for you. Yes. And uh, keep doing what you're doing. Yes. Uh, keep helping the kids. Keep helping the people. Keep inspiring the world mm. in a positive way. Mm. Uh, what is your dream? Oh my goodness. With this, what is your vision? I'm pretty sure when you started this, mm -hmm. you had a vision, especially with Kenya. What would you like uh, Kenya to be like when it comes to matters mental health? Okay, first of all, I wanted to, or I still want to, because it's, you know, it's a process. Mm -hmm. I want to demystify this whole thing, mental health, because when people mm -hmm. hear anything mental health, mm -hmm. They start, you know, envisioning a Stigma mad man. number one. Yeah, and mm -hmm. there's so much shame attached to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and shame is what makes people, what prevents people from Coming seeking out, yeah. help mm -hmm. and actually healing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'd like, I'd like Kenya to be a country where I'm not ashamed of being a depressed person because mm -hmm. I can get help. Mm -hmm. I can get a support group. Mm -hmm. I can get a system that works. Mm -hmm. I can get into a routine that makes me feel that I have control over my life. Mm -hmm. You know, I can get to understand what, what mental health is. Because, you know, if you don't know the mm -hmm. basics, you can't mm -hmm. know the advanced issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and mental health is not just limited to full-blown madness. Mm -hmm. Even eating disorders are included. Mm -hmm. Sleeping disorders sleeping as well. Sleeping disorders. Mm -hmm. Attention know. deficit as well. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mental health is not just so narrow. You know, mm -hmm. it's not about that person who is walking around naked collecting mm -hmm. papers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, people yeah. who tend to put it mm -hmm. in, a, in an envelope like that yeah, one. Yeah, so right. that's my biggest vision when it comes to mental health. Mm -hmm. So as a brand, my biggest vision is to offer value to anyone and everyone who's coming onto my platform. Mm -hmm. So you don't just come in and live empty. Like, mm -hmm. You know, you like you to have You come and leave with something. Yeah. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. How can they catch you on social media? And uh, do you have a hotline for somebody who's going through severe depression? <laughs> <laughs> you can raise number four. Ah, well, I don't have a hotline <laughs> just right. yet, uh -huh. but I'm very active on Instagram. Mm -hmm. My name is Mary Wairimo at Wairimo Raps. Mm -hmm. Not rapping. Uh, I see a, a hip hop. <laughs> yeah, see rapping. Snow. Yeah, raps. Rapping. The W R A P S. Yeah, Wairimo Raps. Wairimo raps. Mm -hmm. It's the same on Facebook, uh -huh. it's the same on Twitter. Uh -huh. Yeah, so my, my DMs are usually open. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've had these conversations with people with daddy issues. Uh -huh. I've had conversations with people who didn't know what depression meant. Uh -huh. I've had talks with people. All this, Kwadian. 
Yes, my DM mm. is so busy. <laughs> you take time and text people and write people. Yeah, yeah. Right. and of course there's a point where I can't help, where uh -huh. we need an assist, where we, we need like advanced Assistant. help. Yeah, so right. I've, been a, I've been a member of a support group which has counselors and all, so mm -hmm. I refer people to the counselors that I know that are right. Christians. When I watch TV series and movies, I see people who are going through uh, drug addiction, mm -hmm. mental health cases, mm -hmm. post-traumatic stress. They have support groups where they just go and talk about things. Do we have such things in Kenya, by the way? Yeah, I just realized that a few days ago, mm -hmm. or sorry, a few weeks ago that we have, we have a support group for people recovering from drugs. Mm -hmm. And then I was in a support group mm -hmm. for people recovering from various issues, divorce and separation, mm -hmm. issues that come with being a senior bachelor or a senior bachelorette, mm -hmm. issues to do with depression, daddy issues, mommy issues. Mm -hmm. But I would like to come up with one support group for s specifically for people going through depression and then maybe you could branch to others. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we all need help sometimes. We all need help. Yeah. Everything they can get it, kwa DM yako, in case they need support. Yeah. You can direct them to the necessary authorities or you can help where you can help. Yes. Why Rimu Raps on Instagram? This is our first entrepreneur of the day on Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Uh, thank you very much for hanging out with us. If you're suffering, please, Why Rimu has said you can talk to her. Why Rimu Raps on, ins on Instagram, she'll direct you the, uh, appropriately to the right authorities or to the right people who can help you or where she can help, she will help. Uh, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on Instagram, and Y254 on Facebook is the way to reach us. Don't forget the hashtag Y in the morning and Entrepreneurship Tuesday. And your views, your comments, uh, your suggestions, and your questions are invited. And please tell us where you're watching us from across the 47 counties. Represent your county on Y in the morning. Thank you very much, Y for coming. Thank you. We appreciate you. Appreciate we'll be back with some more of Y in the morning, so don't go nowhere. Thank you.